Welcome back to ASL Chennai Speaks Out. We're into our last segment, and this is when we're going to talk about solutions to the problem. But before we go to that, we're going to turn our attention to a young lady who's here today and ask this little girl what it is. Does she like autos? What does she think about auto rickshaws? She takes an auto to school every day or to her tuition classes. If there is 80 percent good drivers, only 10 percent bad drivers will be. Actually, I'm going uh. five years in auto, but they are like our friends. Oh, really? Yes. Well, give them a, we should give them a hand for that. I just want to say, okay, let's focus on something called, what do you call the bad drivers? Okay, yes. and the only solution we can come is when some action is taken against the bad drivers. So my doubt is, what is the action that is taken against the 100 complaints that is mentioned? What kind of action? Like it is a fine or a, you know, a, what do you call it, imprisonment or whatever. And is that effective? I just want to know that. What kind of action? Right. So been? let me ask the traffic commissioner now. What sort of action? Is that a solution that the gentleman here is talking about? No, basically he has spoken about the bad drivers. I don't think anybody is a bad to start with. I go for the traffic violations. Mm -hmm. And each violation has basically punitive action. For example, not putting uniform, overloading, excess smoke, demanding excess fares. So everything has certain uh, you know, amount which we impose fine on their spot and allow them to go ahead and all. When there is question of permit violations, a lot of autos have uh, you know, no permits running on the road. Then we impound those autos and put up to the transport authorities. Further, they take action. Right. So a question is that how far effective it is. It is effective to a certain extent because any enforcement has the limitations. So that's why in the beginning I told the things has to come from within. Right. We can be only agency to aid that. Right. Okay. Sir, sorry, okay. What about the complaints which you know which the commuters you know does? Okay, I'm having a complaint with an auto driver, so I'm you know filing it against the police. So how long does it take? Three days? It, three weeks? Right. Oh, three months? I can tell you that complaints come immediately. The auto driver is stressed. The gentleman is asked. Generally, the beauty is that whatever complaint I have received, they have accepted that committed a mistake. Accepted. That's beauty. And fine have been imposed and the concerned man who has given his cell number, my officers personally have spoke to him, informed him also. So that message should go. If you complain, you will, you know, you There's respond some action back. will be taken. Yes, some answer will be taken. Right. And Another solution. Nari, what about the fact that uh, supposing an auto was driven only by an owner, would that be a different way of looking at this Absolutely whole problem? Absolutely right. I think you hit the, the significant change can happen if the autos are owner driven. I have been working with the auto drivers for almost 15 years and I can tell you the attitude of the owner driven autos are different than the driver who rents an auto and rides the auto. So the government should cancel all the permits at Saukarpet or any other place where the autos are not driven by the auto drivers. And then if the driver wants to go to something else, let him surrender the permit to the government and give it to another driver who who wants to drive the auto. So I think you are absolutely right because they have a stake in the society, they have a stake in their own autos, their behavior is better and they will conform to the norms. Right. Audience here, what do you think? Do you think this is a valid comment Excuse that me, we've got here? Ma'am, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I would like to know, as he said, like auto drivers should own an auto yes. for their betterment,ation But I would like to know, like, how many drivers are affordable to get an auto? from their basics. So it is up to the government to come forward, give them the loans for auto and which will be better for them. Right. When uh, government is ready to give other uh, uh, extra things to uh, So instead other people, of cycles and uh, cheap rides no, the, and uh, yeah, TV, sets. that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Right, so okay. I'll just add to that, as he said, the moment the concept comes that we are going to give permit only those who are ready to drive their own auto automatically the finance things will come into place. But first this decision has to be taken whether we are willing for this or Right. Not. Sir, over there. My point is you can't uh, alone blame the government and make them identify all these. The first thing is we must see to that the auto drivers are aware of this. If they are aware that such a solution can provide all uh, problems a good and smooth solution, then this can be more effective. So it's better that we make them aware that if an auto is owned by them, they can run it more profitably, they can make it user friendly. So right. it is first that than the government identifying things, we make the things aware to our auto drivers. Right. You belong to the Automobile Association. Do you think this is a good, um, do you think this is a good solution that we're talking about here? Owner driven autos will definitely be a solution. But another solution is 
to give a proper tariff with distance and timing also. So that then, will help. Then definitely they will put the meter and the people will be definitely happy with the... Right. Now, what I comment do you have for that? Is, I think the government so far has been giving only distance-driven tariff. With the city traffic changing, peak hour, off peak and whatnot, I think they should also introduce the time element in the uh, metering of meter fare. I think that should be one other solution we can bring in right. today. So do you think that would be a too difficult a task for the government to do? Would it be happening all the time, every time petrol goes up or whatever? It is not a difficult task at all. No. But there has to be trust building first. And trust building starts from them because government has fixed. You have not obeyed. So where is the government to have the trust that I do that they are going to obey that? So you say the government is not encouraged to do not that because of the situation. Yes, you have to show the outcome. Mm -hmm. And outcome comes from them. The government is always willing. See, it is the government is taking care of welfare for the passengers as well as auto drivers. It is yeah. not the government is different for them. Mm. Government is also ready to find the solutions. But there has to be trust building and it has to start from them. Right. Uh, what do you think about that, please, Ravi? What? RTO office is going to be FCK. Green tax plus FCK is total 300. I'm going to go to RTO. Who is the broker? Who is the owner? Broker is the owner. If you say the broker is the owner, suppose you have the owner, 500 X. Extra? X is 500. Basically, corruption. So, corruption, corruption that we are talking about, 300 or 500 plus 300. Extra 500. But, yes. meet the seal ID. 10 rupees. I am giving you 10 rupees. 50 rupees. I am giving you 10 rupees. No, what will you do? You have to go and 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 go. Right. So, Ravi is actually talking here about the drawbacks of it being an owner-driven auto. The one of the solutions I think he is suggesting is, do, I mean, exterminate the corruption both in the RTO and the police department, which will reduce the cost of driving so the auto so they can drive for a lower meter charge. Right. But if the government actually got the tariff up to spec, up to spec, uh, you know, according to prevailing prices, isn't that then a solution? Well, the Wouldn't government that cannot be? Uh, uh, take in the corruption charges as part of the cost, you know. So they have to reduce that. What do you say to that, charge. sir? They can also reduce the council charge instead of 500, 300. So at least cost, yeah. What about uh, call stands, uh, sir? Like, uh, you know, like call taxi stands. Yes. Is that an option? Do you think that might work well? Do you think that might work better? If you see the mode of transportation in Chennai, people want to have the cheaper system. And there's a reason that so many autos are here. If people could have been ready to pay more, more and more taxes could have come, which is applicable in other cities, go to Mumbai, go to Delhi, but not here. Right. So I think people's choice depends on, but people still, in spite of that, they find perhaps it is cheaper than having the call tax. Right. Do you think uh, an auto stand, you know, a call stand is a good idea, like good call idea. taxi I stand? I request to police commissioner, additional police commissioner. Um, in Chennai, everywhere, auto rickshaw stands, no? The same auto base, meter auto base, please um, fixed auto base, every important place. If you put meter, um, um, people, if you like meter, come there, take that auto rickshaw. Yes, some hey. auto rickshaw only standing there. Yes, if Anasala, some main places, you s fixed some places, this is a meter auto rickshaw base. Right. Yeah. Another place, this is a meter auto rickshaw base, that rickshaws only coming there. All good drivers coming there, take passengers, take that. This is a good idea. You need the money. Only meter drivers. One second, one second, one second. This is not union. This is a meter drivers. Wait, wait, wait. Order drivers. Wait, wait, let him speak. Any union or any other RCL is there. Any auto, public auto, any auto, go there. Yeah, that's why, that's why. நீட்டிபோ 
எந்த ஆட்டோ நம்ம இங்க இருந்து போற வண்டியில சவாரி ஆறறாங்க uh, what about you can you give us any other suggestions that the traffic chief can look at i think it's a great suggestion you can in art, like auto stops bus stops in auto stops only metered autos can stand here irrespective of who it is that's what he is also suggesting i think Sorry. that's a great suggestion here i would like to add just one more thing for information this suggestions actually we have already discussed that chennai traffic police and ndtv hindu we, sorry ndtv hindu yeah yes. tv yes, hindu right. we have already discussed 15 days back the same thing will come with the campaign the auto drivers who are going to use meter regularly we will facilitate them they already it has come to our mind and we are planning on that i write to one letter to before one additional commissioner yes. mr sunil kumar i yes. write to letter uh, about this, subject, this suggestion about this subject okay See, think, it's a, it's a good it's, offing, yes actually, that's right it's a good suggestion you give check meter points in various stages in roads so people have build trust for the meter they know that one kilometer here also shows one kilometer in the meter that's a third the fourth one is we talked about one or driven autos the fifth one is time bound meter charge also not only distance bound but time bound meter charges also the sixth one is pa- passengers she already said she is using telling other passengers about good auto drivers and giving their mobile number so giving uh, like rotarians where a uh, rotary is on what not mm. give let the public NDTV or the you know or the police give badges just like these people now they have created 100 auto drivers we need to have a mass so at least 1000 auto drivers have to be identified public can be giving that autos wear a pin with a pride i am an honest auto driver i put the meter things like that we can move on and uh, bring into the some solutions to this problem right um, i think many many solutions have come up today um and uh, i i really think that we've had a very very fruitful discussion here i mean it's a problem autos are a problem there are good autos and there are good auto drivers and there are some who are not quite so good but the problem of autos itself is a very long standing one here in our city in chennai we've tried today to get some views on how it can be tackled and what can possibly done, be done to improve it for the traveling public thank you very much Shakil Akhtar, thank you, thank you very add, much. They yes, are just, necessary, but yes. they are not evil. Okay, <laughs> and th- thank you. And thank you, Mr. Purushottaman. Really, very, very much for being here. And to our audience, thank you so much for your views today. Thank you very much. And of course, for your questions. If you'd like to be part of our upcoming shows, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what subjects you'd like us to look at on SL Chennai Speaks Out. Let me give you the numbers now. 99413. Triple two double two or zero double four four two nine zero double seven double seven, and do make a note of our email ID. It's feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.